Well, we're out in the outside lab, and uh, for those of you who wonder maybe why I'm not doing a whole lot lately, um, that could be why. Right now it is uh, 4.22 in the afternoon, and you can see what the temperature is out here. You can also see there used to be a little line right there at about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, it's just a little warm out here. So, yeah. I'm not going to do a live show this weekend. I was going to. I really want to. But with this temperature, I don't think so. So, anyway, I'm going to show you what I got here. But I thought I'd show you that first. Ridiculous. Ah. Oh, so hot outside. So, I'm in the basement, uh, in the lab, and let me just tell you this, I haven't been down here in like months since I've been out in the outside lab there, and it is a little messy. I mean, I've like completely destroyed this place, <clears throat> and uh, I hopefully am going to get around to cleaning some of it today. I've just come down here to pick through stuff, it's been crazy. But I want to give you a little guys an update here on some of the Stan Myers stuff that's been going on. So I'm going to give it to you right now and I uh, hope you enjoy it. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is uh, the injector. We'll talk about that first. Alright, a guy by the name of Bob has donated this end mill. This is custom cut for the actual tapered cavity that is in the injector. Alright. I've posted all the information on this over at the thread on the injector. So I ain't gonna I'm not gonna go through and try to explain everything to you. I'm gonna let you go over there. And uh, all the information is over there. If you want to order one of these, you can do that. The company name, information you need to know, and everything else is over there. You see how deep it is because it's got to get inside that long cavity and actually machine that at the correct taper. It's just over two. It's not two degree. It's just over two. So I want to give it my biggest thank you to him for doing this and sharing the information on where everyone else can get one of these if they would like. Um, information is over at the thread. Uh, next up real quick, Sharky has uh, got number two VIC circuit board in um, and they look really good, same thing, gold plated. Uh, a few minor changes, if you want to know anything about this I will also post the threaded the thread on this over there, okay? So big thanks to Sharky for getting those done and uh, send them over here. I gotta disperse a few of these. One of these is a prize for the pulse motor build off. Alright, and the last thing I want to talk about is these quenching discs. Alright, now my, one of my buddies Paul from uh, Australia he's been working on these quenching discs. He's really been into trying to figure out a way to make these things for a long time. He has a lot of really really cool special equipment and um, one of the things that he has done is actually made some quenching discs. Okay. And these are made out of, I'm not even going to try to say it, this material. Alright. And uh, basically, it comes in a powdered form. And uh, you can drill holes in it, you can uh, machine it, you can grind it, you can do whatever you want. And then, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that these used to be the same size. And then again, this might be a test piece, but I think this is still the soft material. Yeah, see, I just broke it off. That's actually the soft material right there. Alright, so that's not even hardened yet. And it shrunk to this size right here. And this stuff is harder than, I mean, hard's going to get. This stuff is... I'm not going to try to break this one because it's got a whole bunch of little bitty tiny holes in it. If we can get it to focus. It's not going to. You can see all the holes in it. But uh, this was a test piece that he had. 
and its stuff is like freaking rocks. It's so hard, and uh, well, a flashlight does work. Let's see if you can see the holes in it. There, look at that. All right, so that was a test piece, and he actually ground, tried to grind this with a grinder just to, to prove that it was hard in one of his videos. I will throw up the series of videos on these discs so that anybody can watch them. This one just has one hole right in the middle. All right, uh, this one has a multiple array of holes in a particular pattern. Okay, and that pattern is to disperse the um, angles of the flame towards the center. Uh, this one has just a couple of holes in a particular pattern. All right. Um, some of these smaller ones just have one hole. And uh, again, these are these are the quenching circuit. Probably not be able to see it, but these are the quenching the quenching discs that you see. Now, what I have here is actually the what looks to be the same as what Stan was using. He was using something real similar. This is just a uh, a coupling a union, and I'm going to be taking the top half out, placing my quenching disc in here. They fit perfect. Good job on that one, Paul. And uh, tighten these suckers down, and I have exactly what looks like to be the same um, as what Stan had on the top of his cell. I mean, it looks identical. It's got the same housing and everything. If you if you look at it real close, that's that's what I believe he was using. Now, um, Paul did say he stained these so he could see if there was any discoloration. So that's the reason for half of it being discolored is you can see it's just the front side too. He stained that so we can see if the temperature of the heat does anything to the disc. See some of these are this one's stained completely or kind of half. And this one's half. And I want to just give a huge thank you to Paul. Paul's also helped me in other ways and uh, he's got a lot of really cool equipment that he can do this stuff with. And um, it's just awesome to see people out there willing to throw their time and effort into to proving or disproving what uh, what's going on, what Stan says is happening, and uh, and everything else. So there's your quick update on what's going on. And if you hear that clicking in the background, it's my pulse motor, which is about to completely stop here shortly. I ran this thing for a week. I got data on it. I'll make a new video about that when I announce the winners. Zero's already picked his winner, and uh, it's up to the wives now to get their judging done. So, I just want to give a big thank you to everybody. This is just a short little update on what's going on, but um, all the uh, the effort that everyone's put into everything is just simply amazing. And uh, I just want to give a big thank you to everyone out there that's willing to throw in and help. Um, we don't even know if this stuff is gonna is gonna work, but we've already proven some things. Um, the quenching disc thing, that whole thing, you know, that's basic knowledge. If you want, if you look deep enough into it, it's kind of basic knowledge stuff. Not really anything Stan came up with. It's actually just the the, the physical properties of something burning and quenching. Pretty simple. But uh, anyway, that's it. And I uh, hope to get this. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you what, it's a giant mess down here. It's freaking exploded. I got stuff everywhere been down here doing nothing but just digging through things trying to get uh, trying to get everything I need but uh, anyway so that's it Russ with RWG Research uh, as you saw in the beginning of this video the reason I'm not going to be doing a live show this weekend is because it's freaking hot um, Paul I will wait to test these during a live show because I know you can watch them it's just your time frame and I think that'll be fun for you too um, and I will do another video and show everybody the results but that's it for now Russ uh, peace out to you guys. Thank you, uh, and uh, hope to see you soon and do more Stan Meyer stuff, and we'll get to it. Got lots of stuff to do. Um, I also should go grab a can of something. Hold on. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> so uh, one of my buddies, Dave, uh, he, he bought some of this stuff, and he's using to insulate all of his uh, high voltage stuff. So. Um, it's for motor windings and stuff like that. So he uh, somehow he bought an entire case 
he was just going to order a can, he bought a case. So he sent me some, and I'm going to be using this to cover the VIC coil and uh, coating it. And hopefully that will also help. So I want to give a big shout out to Dave. Thank you, buddy. And uh, I know I've helped you here and there, and it's good to be helped back. But overall, uh, it's just good to be involved with a bunch of people willing to help each other out. Because, um, like always, teamwork. Come on, guys. Uh, all right, I'm trying to be quiet because my daughter's sleeping and taking a nap Sunday afternoon here. So, have a good day. I'll see you guys later, and uh, just keep watching for updates, and uh, we'll do a live show sometime. May I do it down here in the basement, because it is so hot. Stay safe, guys. Peace. Well, guys, I decided to drag some of my computer crap inside, because it was so hot outside. This computer was just overheated. Oh, if I don't dump it on the floor first. So, I'm letting it cool. And, uh, then we'll be back in business, I hope. Well, it cooled off. Had it to restore. It took a beating. But anyway, we'll see if it starts up. So, back to the uh, thing that I forgot to tell you. Forgot to tell you, Paul also sent this little thing. <clears throat> and what is this? I'll let my hands so you can see how small it is. This is some pieces of stainless steel. Alright. And this guy has some pretty cool equipment, which I was telling you. He actually TIG welded these two, well, three pieces together. Alright. So that's the kind of cool equipment this guy is. <laughs> this guy Paul has, and uh, along with those quenching discs, I mean, he actually baked those in an oven that he's got specially designed for these type of things. So I wanted to quickly show you that. Here, I'll set this next to a yellow wire nut so you can get the idea of how small that actually is. Here's a ruler. Set it on this ruler. Show you how small this is. That's millimeters. Hey, got some junk in the way. Anyway, pretty cool, Paul. And uh, he's offered to uh, weld some things together if I need them to be that small. But he just wanted to send me that as well. So there it is. And uh, yep. Oh, looky there, it worked. Cool. We'll see if it works, and I can edit this video. Yay!